If you're consistently seeing sequences of one all over the place, then this video is for you. Spiritual Superstar, make no mistake about this. You are in alignment for your dreams coming true. We're talking about the prayers you don't share with anybody. So I'm going to share with you exactly what to do when you see any sequence of the one, any format at all. I'm going to share with you exactly how to see them as well so you don't miss them. I'm also going to share with you the number one mistake that I see my clients make, my students make, so that you can avoid it like the plague. Because make no mistake about it, you are in straight alignment for your dreams coming true, for your prayers being answered, for your manifestations to come on in because you are blessed and highly favored. Let's get right into it. But before we do, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Come on back for more spiritual guidance by hitting that little bell to be notified when we do produce another free video. I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where we help you master your spiritual gifts and spiritual guidance. Let's roll right into it. Okay, so the best way that I can explain to you how this occurs for those of you that have no idea or you just need that foundational step which don't ever feel bad about that that's what I'm here for is to really share with you something that happened to me yesterday so I was in the kitchen and I went to grab the tea kettle and I look on my stove and it's 11 11 now here's the key point my stove clock is faster than 3d time that is on my cell phone. Let's go ahead and check that out. I went to pick up my thing to get some more tea and sure enough it's 11 11 and when I tell you what I was just thinking of was <sighs> what I had been feeling is am I doing it right? Am I I felt yesterday really weird and my daughter kept asking me what's wrong and I was thinking nothing's really wrong but I was feeling the impending energy that's coming in because the shift has begun and I know this feeling and so my message here is because I had a dream last night which is a premonition a strong vision I asked for my queen mother to come in and show me my future and what she showed me was not what I was focused on what she showed me was what I needed to see and it had absolutely nothing with what I wanted to see like I wanted to see the my life playing out with my wealth my children just us not having to want for absolutely anything just all the good stuff all the positive all the things that you want to live in you're living your dream life and you are just ah I've reached this plateau now that kind of thing it was not that at all it was the stuff you've got to go through. It is the sadness. It's the pain. It's the culmination of that. And that you have to have. Lord have mercy. See, this is, this is, this is, oh. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to show you what time it really is by a screenshot. Because this is fast. Let me show you. So in that scenario, I had saw 11.11 um, right after I saw a post that really spoke directly to what I had already asked for my queen mother to show me verification and confirmation in. So when I saw 11.11 on my stove, that was the third time that I saw it. And that's really significant. Um, and we'll talk about why in another video in more in depth. But what you really want to know is that I followed my spiritual guidance in sequence. The numbers that you're going to be receiving are in sequence and they are symbols. So you really want to make sure you're following that because it all is a universal code 
that's called spiritual guidance. So um, when I saw that 1111 on the stove, I knew that it was my third sign of, to receive the confirmation that I really needed and to just bring it on home. Okay, um, then when the, my alarm went off on my phone at the 3D time of 1111, that just really did it. And what Spirit was saying to me was, Nikki, you are so close to the next phase of your manifestation that all you have to do is stay focused on everything that you are manifesting. And um, when I saw 1111 with that that third sequence of all of them, the 111s, the 1111s, all of that was a sequence of that is what Spirit was telling me to do. Do not do not feed uh, fear. Feed faith and starve fear. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So what do you want to do when you're seeing these sequences? You want to definitely acknowledge them. Once you acknowledge them, I'm going to share with you right now the biggest mistake that I see people make so please avoid this like the plague, okay? I don't ever want you to do this because it will block your blessings just like this. It will block everything that you've been working so hard for, that you've been praying for. If you do this one thing, it will block your manifestations. You will be year after year in cycles, stuck, stagnant. Please don't do that. Please, this one thing, do not do it. Avoid it. This is the number one mistake, okay? When you are seeing ones, one, 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 however many numbers of ones that you're seeing, acknowledge it. And here's the most important part. You do not want to wish. You don't need to pray for anything. You don't need to ask for anything. You don't need to want for anything at that moment. You are literally supposed to just listen. That's it. You're just in receiving mode now. You have already given. You have already begun. And so now the law of attraction has already been activated because of the seeds that you have been planting. And now spirit is saying, you deserve, I'm giving to you, Please just open your arms, open your soul up to me and just receive this bounty of infinite abundance, of wealth, of good health, of happiness, of just everything that you've been praying for, that you've been trying to manifest, that you have just been focused on. Spirit is saying, just receive it from me. So literally just have your entire being open to receiving this gift that Spirit is literally dropping in the palm of your hands. Just like this. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So for example, when you see 1111 or ones, your reaction is to be this. Oh, okay, I see it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And or, I'm so grateful. Oh, thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or, Divine Source, thank you so much. Please show me my spiritual guidance the way that I can receive it. And I thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or, Or, because you're so excited, you saw it, you received it, you acknowledged it, boom, that's it. You are in expectation mode. Let me say this again. I can't stress it enough. What you don't want to do, the biggest mistake I see anybody make, my clients, my customers, my students, the biggest mistake 
that I have ever seen people make is oh, oh it's eleven eleven. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um what do I think of? What do I what do I say? What do I wish? Oh my gosh, what do I want? Oh my gosh, please send me money. Please um um make that man love me. Oh my gosh, please send my woman back. Oh my goodness, please give me my kids back. Oh my gosh, um um I need a new car. Please send me that new car. Let me get a Benz. Let me just let me just get something that works. Oh my gosh, please send me my job. Please, oh Lord, please. Mistake, mistake, mistake because what is that? It is actually the spirit of lack. It is saying to the universe, it's saying to God that first of all, you aren't acknowledging God's presence. You're acknowledging fear. If you are acknowledging God's presence, if you are acknowledging spirit, if you are acknowledging that the universe is coming in to gift you, then you wouldn't be asking for anything. You would just be ready and grateful. Oh, thank you so much. Ready to receive. You are in full expectation mode. So what you in fact are doing is feeding fear and triggering the law, the spirit of lack to keep going. And you don't want to be in that cycle. Um, and so when you are asking for, when you are praying for at that moment, when you are begging for, you literally are chasing that very thing that you have been wanting to manifest, that you are working so hard to bring into fruition, that you are um, planning for, your goal, all of that. You are literally pushing it away and because you're saying, Spirit, I don't even believe it. I don't even believe that I'm worthy. That's what you're saying. And so I rebuke that. That ain't coming from my lips. That's I'm using that as an example. That's just how serious that is. I do not want the law of attraction to think that I mean that at all. It's in your energy. It's in your intention. It has to be focused on your manifestation as though you have already received it. Now, you hear me say that a lot, okay? You, so you're like, oh, yes. Whenever you look at your phone and you're like, you know what? Why, why did I just hear, just look at my phone? Why am I seeing somebody pop in and a, an image of a, a situation, circumstances, anything, numbers or anything? Look at my phone. <gasps> it's 111. Just happy, just happy to receive. You know that you're receiving your blessings, okay? So anytime you're seeing the sequence, what are you going to do? Okay, so what does the 111 mean? Well, we're going to talk about that in the next video, so stay tuned for that. If you're wondering what 1111 means, 1111, We've already done that video, and um, I'll put it somewhere around here so that you can click right on it. All right, spiritual superstars, I hope and pray that this example helps you and that you know exactly what to do. And if you don't or if you have anything to share, I certainly want to hear from you. So click in the comments down, down below, share what your experiences have been, when you are have been seeing 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, whatever sequence of ones that you have been seeing and experiencing, what is that like for you? All right, dear loves, click that thumbs up button, the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when we do come back over with our next free spiritual guidance video. I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where we help you master your spiritual gifts and spiritual guidance. I'll see you soon. Mwah.